Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Kissinger. Uh, I'm with the uh, Citizenship Academy in Syracuse, New York. And uh, today we're doing fifth grade math, module two, lesson 19. Um, we're going to be dividing two and three digit dividends uh, by multiples of 10 with single digit quotients um, and make connections to a written method. So we're going to be doing some division today. If we look at um, our first problem here, it's done for us. Uh, it's 41 divided by 30. One thing that's really important that we want to make sure that we're doing as we're uh, um, solving these division problems is this first number, this 41 divided by 30. We want to make sure this goes inside of our box, inside of our little house here. Um, some people uh, will read this as 30 divided by 41, and that's incorrect. This is 41 divided by 30. So make sure that um, that second number is the one that's outside of the box out here. Um, so just be mindful of that, of that as we continue. Um, <clears throat> here they did 30 going into 41. Well, 30 can't go into, uh, into 4. Sometimes we would put a 0 right here, just you know, if that, if that makes things easier. Um, 30 goes into 41 one time, and then we subtract our 30, and we have a remainder of 11. Um, they've also check their work here. So we have uh, 30 times 1, 30 times 1 here, plus our remainder, plus, plus our 11, and we should get um, 41. We should get our dividend when we uh, check that with multiplication because multiplication is the inverse of division. So we'll walk through that a little bit, um, you know, kind of step by step here in the next few uh, problems. If we look at letter B, we have 80 divided by 30. Again, remember 80 needs to go inside I'm gonna leave myself a little bit I'm more remote here I can to the to the right. Um but eighty needs to go inside of that box or inside of that um, that house. Um and outside of it is going to be that second number, your your divisor, um which in this case is thirty. So thirty goes into eight um zero times. I'm going to put a zero right here. 30 goes into 80. Um, if I'm unsure how many times 30 goes into 80, what I can do is I can make a, uh, a factor tree. And I'll start with 30. And then 2 times 30 is 60. 3 times 30 is 90. All right, so I have passed 80. Um, another way to think about that is if you cover these zeros, you could do, you know, three tens, six tens, nine tens. Um, so you can skip count by threes. If, if skip, count, skip counting by threes is easier than skip counting by thirties for you. Um, but you were going to find that we have, you know, one, two, three. Well, two is the most, uh, we can get 30 into 80. So we're going to put a two up top here. We'll do 60 down here and we subtract. We're going to get 20. And so we're going to have two remainder 20 as our answer. Now, if we want to check our work, we're going to multiply um, our quotient right here, our answer, by our divisor. And then we add our remainder and we should get our dividend. So if we do 30 times two, we get 60, and then 60 plus 20, and we get 80. And 80 is our dividend. So we're gonna do a couple more just like that. Uh, we'll do letter C. Um, 71 divided by 50. Again, remember, 71 is going to go inside and 50 goes outside. So we're just flipping those numbers from, uh, if we're looking, looking at it like this, if we want to switch to like a long division um, type method or standard algorithm, um, we need to flip those around. Again, I think I'm going to, I wrote this a little too far to the left. I want to give myself space for when I, you know, move down my paper. Um, I want to have space to write. 
So I'm going to do a 71 over here divided by 50. Um, 50 goes into z 7 zero times. 50 goes into 71. Well, I can do 50. Um, 50 times 2 is 100. Okay, I've already gone too far. So 50 only, it only goes in one time. So I get 1. And then I subtract 50. And I'm going to get 21 as my remainder. Now, another way I can know if uh, I didn't, um, I didn't find out how many times my uh, my divisor goes into my dividend. Um, if this number was larger than 50 when I subtract, then I would know, oh, wait, this can't be one because I can fit another 50 into there. Because it's less than 50, I know that that is probably correct for my remainder, but we're going to check it just to make sure. Um, if we do 50 times one, we're going to get 50. Anything times one is going to be itself. And then 50 plus 21. Um, one, seven, yeah, 71. All right. So let's look at, look at letter D. We have 270 divided by 30. So we go 270 divided by, and then 30 on the outside. 30 can't go into 2. 30 can't go into 27. 30 can go into 270, but we don't know how many times. So we need to make ourselves a fact tree here. 30. 60. 90. 120. 150. You gotta keep going. 180, 210, 240, 270. Oh, and look at that. We have 270 is a factor of 30. How many times does it go in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when we subtract 270, we get zero. We have no remainder. We can check that if we multiply 30 by nine. Well, I would just do 3 times 9, which is 27, and then I need to add my 0 because I'm going to multiply by 10. So, you could also look at this as 3 times 9 times 10. Well, 3 times 9 is 27 times 10. I'm going to add my 0, and I get 270. So, I know that that is correct. Letter E, we have 643 divided by 80. So we have 643 divided by 80. 80 does not go into 6. It does not go into 64. But it will go into 643. So how many times... We'll have to skip count by 80 or by 8. So 80, 160, 240, 320, 400, 480. 560, 
640. I'm pretty close, but I haven't reached 643 yet. Seven twenty. Uh, okay, that's above six forty three. So I know six forty is as far as I'm going to be able to go. I need to count how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and that should make sense because eight times eight is sixty four. Eight times eighty is six hundred forty. Um, so we're going to put an eight here, and we need to subtract six forty. We're just going to get three, so we get a remainder of three. 80 times eight equals 640. Okay. Eight times eight is 64, times 10 is 640. And then 640 plus three equals 643. All right, so let's try a word problem here. Um, and I think we're going to try this number three. I like the way that they did this. It says a number divided by 80 has a quotient of seven with four as a remainder. Find the number. So we have a lot of, a lot of uh, words here we want to keep in mind. So a number divided by 80, so divided by 80, with a quotient of seven, and four as a remainder. And we want to find what the number is. So let's make ourselves a division problem. And we're going to fill in the parts that we have. So a number divided by 80. We know that what the part that's divided by is on the outside. This divided by tells us that that is our divisor. Our divisor goes on the outside of this uh, box. So we're going to do 80 right here. Our quotient is our answer. Quotient is what we get when we divide our um, dividend by our divisor. We get 4, or we get 7 with a remainder of 4. So I want to know what this number is right here. How I can find that is the same way that we have been checking our work. So I can multiply 80 times 7 and then add 4. So I do 80 times 7. And I would just look at 8 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56. Times 10 is 560. And then 560 plus 4 is 564. Now, I can check to make sure that I'm correct by now dividing rather than multiplying um, because division is the inverse of multiplication. So I can do 80. Oh, let's see what I did there. Put 80 on the wrong side here. 80. Divided by five, or 564 divided, divided by 80. And then we want to do 80 into 5 is 0. 80 does not go into 56 either. But it will go into 564. I can make my factor tree, and I can go 80, 160, uh, 240, 320, 400, 480, 560, 640, All right, 560 right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then when I subtract 560, I get 4. The remainder, 4. So I checked my work. I found out that this number is 564. 
All right. So that's where we're going to leave off for today. Um, you, hopefully you guys uh, have some, some tools to solve some of these um, two digit uh, division problems. Uh, you guys have an awesome rest of your day and uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.